uh, or being constantly frightened or being oppressed or economically exploited. Stand up and say, Love your neighbor or be good to your enemy, and then in the next breath, they'll say, You know, hang a terrace, which doesn't make sense, you know. And you know, we really have to, to look at what's, what we're saying and deal with the violence in us because really the violence begins in each of us, and uh, we get rid of it by putting it on to someone else or let someone else do it for us, whether it's the police or paramilitaries. It's still our violence, you know. It's going to begin with us. Originally it was just uh, barbed wire in, you know, 69, because there was a lot of um, people, you know, a lot of ratting went on in these areas between the both communities. And then it became a corrugated iron fence the army put up. And now it's this sort of very heavy structure, which is concrete and steel. And it's, it's twice the height of the Berlin Wall, and if anybody's been to Berlin, for all the kids growing up in this area, this is all normal. You know, this is a frightening thing. It's normal to have your area segregated or separated by a steel wall, steel and concrete wall. It was fear of riots, fear of the children being injured, fear of them caught up in, you know, shooting and gunfire, but mostly the riot situation then was very bad, you know, and uh, I think most mothers with young children then were under an awful lot of strain because uh, if the children had been out in the street, these things happened so quickly.